Hey-o, it's Jiggly Gut here, and today we're going to be playing Donkey Kong Country to celebrate its 25th anniversary. It was one of my favorite ranch games growing up on the SNES, along with a sequel, Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Conquest, and Dixie Kong Double Trouble. Okay, let's just jump right into it. So here we've got the overworld, Donkey Kong Country, first world, Kungu Jungle, Jungle Hijinks. Okay, so this isn't going to be anything too flashy, it's not going to be a, a fast speed run or anything like that. It's going to be a nice leisurely paced run that'll, you know, cover most of the bonus levels. If I remember where they are exactly. But. Ooh, okay, some bananas. So we're going to start off by going. Oh, I missed that. That sucks. Minor setback. You grab the K, jump over the M. So each part, we're probably going to cover one, maybe two worlds, depending on how quick I get through each. Short videos are nice, but I don't want them too short. Take him out. Jump down here to Ramby. Go, go, go. There's our N and second bonus level. So I played this back when it uh, release, and needless to say, like many others, you know, it blew my mind how good it was. The, the graphics were ahead of its time. The music was phenomenal, and in my opinion, you know, the best soundtrack of the three games. Jump up here for five extra lives. There we are. Donkey Kong Country 2 was by far the better game, but this had the best soundtrack. Uh, and Donkey Kong Country 3, that gets a, a little bit of uh, flack, but uh, it's still a very enjoyable game it had with its pseudo free roam world and the ability to choose later worlds and what order you wanted to play in. The music was also pretty top notch in it as well. But what it lacked after coming off of Donkey Kong Country 2, it lacked character. Donkey Kong Country 2, the enemies had a theme. It was, it was all pirate theme. Pirate ghosts, pirate kremlings. And then you got to Donkey Kong Country 3. It was an interesting game, but the, the, the character wasn't there. It was lacking that charm. The enemies were rather... Yeah, lackluster in their design. Which was an awful shame, really. I find if you squint your eyes, yeah, have a better time picking which barrel the one ups in. Okay, that's the last bonus of that. Yeah, let's kill him. Why not? Frankie's cabin there. Next level, Reptile Rumble. Kill them, grab the barrel. Bonus level right here. And the, the theme with um 
rule in Donkey Kong Country 3 was that he was a mad scientist, so they, they should have had, like, I don't know, um, pseudo horrorish type creatures and sci fi and whatnot. You know, jet packing, you know, Kremlins, Frankensteins with, like, you know, green skin and bolts out of their friggin' necks. Hell, throw in a frickin' vampire gremlin. That would have been cool. We got the next bonus level in. Oh, in there. Thankfully, we got another barrel. Uh, hunchback gremlins, even. But yeah, they they didn't play it up all that much, which was unfortunate. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with the tokens. They're more an annoyance at times than anything. Okay. Making good progress. Coral capers. And the soundtrack, Aquatic Ambience. Which is a fan favourite. Well, shut up and let it play for a bit. Shame we couldn't linger a little longer to listen to it, but we got another level, Baron Barrel Cannon Canyon. Now if you don't feel like doing most of this level, you could just sort of jump up here and grab this little barrel shortcut. do the level properly, hence why I kill myself. Okay. There's a, uh, actually another barrel after the midway point that'll take you right to the end of the level as well. So there's all sorts of little shortcuts you can take. There we are, back where I committed suicide. Now the barrels with the armed stars on them are automatically... They, they fire you automatically. And these ones you fire manually by getting the jump button. Later on, you'll have to uh, time your manual shots just right so you don't 
you know, fire into a automatic barrel and go careening off into the abyss. <laughs> Notably, um, a place for that to happen is treetop village. Oh, okay, I thought it was rolling there, apparently I didn't. Yeah, it's all about timing and patience. under him. Okay, uh, that's the fifth level of that world done. Now here we've got the first world boss, Naughty. All we've got to do is jump on him five times and the sucker will be dead. There we go. All too easy. That's a lot of bananas. Okay, that concludes the first level. Join me next time and we will go into Monkey Mine. Or, more notably, Winky's Walkway of Monkey Mine. Until then, this has been Jigglycat. Peace out, and I'll see you next time.